Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day as usual. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my 2020 Louis Vuitton handbag collection. So I'm not going to be sharing my small leather goods. We're specifically going to be focusing on handbags today. I have about seven to share and I'm going to rank them for you. That's right. I'm going to tell you my least favorite all the way up to my favorite Louis Vuitton bag just based on how many times I carry it based on the functionality of it so for each bag I'm going to tell you some of the pros I'm going to tell you some of the cons and we are going to have some fun today so without further ado if you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and if you want to see what Louis Vuitton handbags I have in my collection for 2020 then keep watching Okay, so like I said, I am going to rank them and I'm going to start with the Louis Vuitton handbags that are my least favorite. Now, by no means do I not like these bags. I just want to put them out there, but I just feel like out of my entire collection, these are the ones that I don't reach for the most and they're not necessarily my favorite. But if you guys have been watching me for a long time, you're probably going to already know what my favorite bag is. So let's see. Let's get started. Like I said, I have about seven bags to share. My least favorite Louis Vuitton bag is this little guy right here. This is my Louis Vuitton. This is the Speedy 35 in the Damier Aben. Now this is one of the first Louis Vuitton purchases I ever made. So it was really, really special to me. I remember I put my money aside. I saved it. I went to the store. I got it. I was so excited about it. And when I first bought it, I was wearing it all the time. And I know if you guys have watched me for a long time, you've probably heard this before, but let me tell you why I really don't reach for it that much for a lot of reasons. Like the main reason is it mainly has a top handle. As you know, the bandolier has a strap. This one doesn't have a strap and it doesn't have a place. Like it doesn't have rings, even if I wanted to buy a strap. So I find that when I do put a lot in this bag, which usually I do put a lot because it fits a lot, um, you can only really carry it top handle. And when I do that, it just becomes very, very uncomfortable and it's just not practical for my lifestyle. Now, I do know a lot of people who love this bag, and I don't think that I'll ever really get rid of the bag. It is special to me because it was one of my first Louis Vuitton purchases. But let me tell you the positives of the bag. The positives of the bags, it can fit so much. So again, I have it in the Damier Ben and it has the beautiful red interior. It's just like a big bucket bag. There's a lot of space. There is a pocket right here. I usually keep the tag in there and I also keep um, the keys in there. So there are keys that come with this little lock. But like I sta stated before, a lot of people love this bag. It is a really, really nice bag. It's perfect for work. You can even use it for travel because it does fit so much. But for whatever reason, out of all the Louis Vuitton bags that I own, this is just my least favorite bag but like I stated I don't know that I could ever get rid of it because it does hold a special place in my heart because it was the first um, Louis Vuitton bag that I ever purchased so this was number seven okay so we are going to work our way up from my least favorite all the way to my favorite Louis Vuitton bags number six is the Louis Vuitton this is the Neverfull GM and this is in the Damier Azur I have to say that I love this bag for travel the problem is I don't really travel too much and that's really the only time I carry it now when I do travel it's amazing I recently went to Vegas a few months ago and I took this with me I will insert a picture so you guys can see it's great it fits so much I had my neck pillow in there I had my wallet I had my my little makeup bag it fits so much and there's a reason this bag is called the never full because like I said it literally never gets full my daughter will give me her jacket I put it in it just it's so great and functional and I do love the fact that it also comes with this little guy right here so you can also use it as a clutch if you're going out at night you can also use it as a wristlet but one thing I did like when I went to Vegas and I know I might have mentioned this before is I had my little Chanel wallet on a chain and I could put it right in the bag and it was great and it was perfect for travel another great thing is if you don't want to wear it like this you can cinch in the sides to kind of give it another look so let me kind of show you what that would look like if you did want to cinch the sides in so that's going to kind of give you like a little bit of like a more structured bag you can cinch it a little more but 
Again, this bag is just so, so large that because of that, I really don't carry it that much. It's just my personal preference. I feel like I've really been gravitating towards crossbody bags because for my lifestyle, that just fits me best. I have a little girl and we're on the run on the weekends and um, it's just easier for me when I can have my hands free. And even though this is a shoulder bag and I would have my hands free, I find that it's just like so big and bulky. However, I do still really like it because when I do travel it is perfect if that makes any sense and I do feel for Louis Vuitton bags this is priced really really well considering you get the large bag and you also get this little mini guy too that can be used as a clutch or a makeup bag but this bag does come in three sizes and I did get the GM and part of me wishes that I might have gotten the MM but let me tell you why I didn't. I didn't because when I went in the store and I tried it on for some reason the handles just felt like really really tight. It didn't feel as comfortable but when I got the GM it feels a little better. See there's a little more space. It feels a little more comfortable but it is just <laughs> Such a big big bag it is perfect for travel but just out of all the Louis Vuitton bags that I own seven this is probably more towards the bottom of one of the more least used bags on my list okay moving on up we're on number five so out of all my Louis Vuitton bags this guy right here comes in at number five I do still really really like this bag but I just don't find myself wearing it as much as some of the others and I'm talking about this one right here this is the Louis Vuitton Crusette now I do have to tell you that I did do a comparison between the Crusette and the Pochette Matisse and these are very very similar bags I love the fact that it has a top handle and there's plenty of room. It opens like this, clasp, and then I have the rose ballerine interior. It does come with a strap so you can wear it top handle, you can wear it crossbody, you can wear it as a shoulder bag. But like I said, I just find myself not really reaching for this as much. I think um, I do gravitate more towards this bag in the summer months. I think it goes with a lot more. But it still is a great bag. Like I said, all the bags I'm mentioning I do love, but just if I'm ranking them, I don't use this one quite as much as I use my others. But it is really pretty. You can see it has this tassel. And the thing that I really, really love about the bag is the top handle. I am really into bags that have the top handles because I just feel like the functionality is so great. It's nice to have a shoulder bag, but if you're getting out of the car, sometimes it's nice to just be able to grab this. And this bag, there is, I usually keep the dust bag in here and then I'll keep the strap in here too but I have the rose ballerine interior it has a pocket right here and if you guys want to see a more in-depth review like I said I did do a comparison video between this one and the Pochette Matisse so I will link that video down below if you want to kind of know more details specifically on this bag but this one comes in at number five in all of my Louis Vuitton bags Okay, let's talk number four. Number four is very similar to number six, and I am talking about the Louis Vuitton. This is the Neverfull in the GM size, but it is in the monogram, and I have this guy with the Pivon interior, which is a beautiful fuchsia. Once again, it comes with this nice little wristlet. Again, you can use it as a clutch, but as I stated with the other one, I use this as a makeup bag. Right now, I have a bunch of tampons in it so it conceals those very nicely again for the price you get the bag you get the little clutch but again because of the size I only really use this bag for travel no that's not necessarily true this is a good work bag too like I can fit a laptop in it um, I can fit papers I can fit a notebook I can fit so much but I just I'm also really more into structured bags I'm into crossbody bags so the only time I really find myself reaching for this bag is when I travel but if you guys if you're somebody who travels quite a bit I think you're gonna love the Neverfull like I stated you can fit so much in it and I really feel like the GM size is very comfortable to wear when compared to the MM just my opinion but part of me also wishes that since I already had the GM size that I would have gotten the mm just so i could have a variety in my collection but i think between my two never fulls i definitely use this one more than i use the damier azure because i feel like the monogram is classic and again i can't see myself ever really getting rid of it i do love the beautiful fuchsia interior it's just really pretty out of all of my louis vuitton bags 
this would have to be number four. Okay, we have three bags left. Do you guys know what they are? Well, let's come in at number three. My third Louis Vuitton bag is, da, 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 this is the Pochette Matisse. Now I have to tell you, as far as like Pochette Matisse is concerned, I love this style bag. But the monogram, I don't necessarily reach for this as much as my other Emprunt leather, and we will get to that one. However, of all my Louis Vuitton bags, this is such a great one. I have talked about this over and over, like this style of bag. I love the top handle. I love how it has this nice, chic briefcase look. So if you are a business person, or even if you're not, it just has such a nice look. Love the back zip pocket. This is where I always put my phone very convenient it has this little clasp closure um it opens like this you can see the strap and you guys so much space look how much space is in here this is so great again i did do a comparison video between the pochette matisse and the corset because as you can see these bags are very very similar so in the event you want to know oh, which one i liked better You'll probably already have an idea, but in the event you want to know, that is linked down below. But this bag is just so great. Again, you can wear it as a shoulder bag. You can wear it as a crossbody. I normally wear it as a crossbody. Now, you might have recently seen a video I did. This was one of my least used bags. I do want to caveat that that is true. Out of all of my handbags, this was one of my least used bags of 2019. Not because I don't love it, but just because of the monogram, I think I reached for my black one a lot more. But you might have seen in a lot of my recent Instagram pics that I am trying to wear this a lot more because if we are talking bags specifically, this is such a great bag. It is so functional. It serves every purpose that I could want. It just checks off all the boxes. This is a great bag. If you've been on the fence about getting the Pochette Matisse, I think it's totally worth it. There are a lot of people who love it. Then there are also some people that don't necessarily like it, but I love it. One of my favorite, favorite Louis Vuitton bags, which is why it came in top three. We have two more bags. Do you guys have any idea which bags I'm going to pick? So number two is actually a recent purchase, and I am talking about the Alma BB. I love this bag. This is so cute. I bought this bag when I was in Las Vegas, and I had been wanting it for a really long time. I'd reached out to a lot of you. A lot of you provided me feedback, and you really helped me, but I think this is the cutest little bowling style bag. It is so different and unique to compare, compared to everything else I have. I love the top handle. You can wear it as a shoulder bag. You can wear it as a crossbody bag. It has this little key in here. Lock closure. You open it up like this and it has one pocket. Um, I feel like this bag fits so much. It's so functional, so adorable how little it is. Now it comes in multiple sizes. I got kind of the um, smaller one and I also, they have an Emprunt uh, version of it that I've been thinking about getting that because I use this quite a bit. I really like it. I think this especially looks good when you wear an all black outfit. I think that that just looks really nice. A lot of times I like to be matchy matchy and wear like black bags with my black pants and stuff like that, but I feel like this does look good when you wear black. So again, I will insert pictures um, of me wearing this bag, but it's been so great and functional. And for being such a small bag, I can fit so much in it. So you guys really, really been loving this bag right here, which is why it's number two. Okay, we are down to my number one Louis Vuitton bag out of all seven bags. This is my most used, and this is by far the best Louis Vuitton purchase I've ever made. And I am talking about my Louis Vuitton. This is the Pochette Matisse and the Emprunt. And I know what you guys are thinking. Why is this one number one, and why is the Louis Vuitton monogram number three? They're the same bag. Obviously, I love them, but this one I reach for all the time all the time. I mean, I gravitate towards this bag so much. It is so great. Some of the same reasons that I mentioned before. I, first off, love the Emprunt. This leather is just amazing. This bag has worn so well. It has little wear and tear. The only, only thing is, if you can kind of see here, on the little clasp here, it has worn a little bit from the oils of my fingers for me going like this. So that's one thing you have to be mindful of. 
but the functionality is amazing of this bag. You can carry it like a briefcase style. Again, there's a zipper in the back. I usually wear it as a crossbody too. You open it and there is so much space in here. You have three large pockets. I've also done videos like what's in my bags and that kind of thing. And again, I will link that video down below where I compare the Pochette Matisse to the Louis Vuitton Crissette. But the accordion style bag is amazing. It fits so much, you guys, so much, which is why this is my number one Louis Vuitton purchase. So there you go, guys. I have seven Louis Vuitton bags. I'm pretty happy with my collection. I've collected them over the past 10 years or so, and they have been great, great bags. So let me know down below, what are some of your uh, favorite Louis Vuitton handbags? Is there a bag that I just need to have in my collection that I don't currently have? I feel like I have a pretty good variety. Speedy 35, the Never Falls. Maybe I should have gotten the MM size. That's one thing I regret. But I have the Alma, which is the bowling style, and then the Pochette Matisse, the Grissette. I like it. The only other, I do have my eye on the Empreinte in the Alma BB. And there are a couple other little handbags that I have my eye on. But that's it, you guys. This is my updated uh, Louis Vuitton collection. As I stated, I'm pretty happy with it. So let me know down below what are some of your favorite Louis Vuitton bags name something that you think that I must have in my collection. I must put on my wish list. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel and follow me on Instagram. I love to have you join me over there and stay tuned because I will be doing another video comparing two very similar wallets, the Victorine wallet and the Zoe wallet. Um, I love doing comparison videos on my channel because I think that they're very, very helpful if you're on the fence. So stay tuned for that. That video is coming very soon. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will see you next time. I was looking like a fool when I met ya All covered up in the dirt from my past So insecure by myself when I met ya